You are welcome to As a Matter of Fact, once again. As always, we thank you for being part of this channel, for supporting us. We really, really appreciate it. has been a while since we last made a video, and today is yet another day that we come to, you know, share information with you. Today we're going to talk about um, Kenya. Now, today's topic is Kenya launches, or Kenya set to launch its first satellite. Kenya is set to launch its first operational satellite into the orbit. Now, over 50 countries in Africa, according to Satellite Africa, have set or have launched satellite into space by November 2022. And among them is Rwanda, Uganda, and now Kenya, that is set to launch its first operational satellite uh, on the 11th of April this very year. Okay, this comes after a few months after Uganda had also, you know, set its or launched its operational satellite into orbit as well. Okay, this news uh, went viral in Nairobi at the beginning of this week when one of their officials you know, let it out to the media that Kenya is going to be setting or it is going to be launching its first satellite into space. It should be remembered that around 2018, around the year 2018, Kenya launched its first nano, you know, experimental satellite into space. In other words, it was, you know, meant to test waters if really things are able to work with satellite. Now, it is time that April 2023, Kenya is going to be uh, launching its first operational satellite in orbit, and this satellite is meant to help uh, Kenya monitor its agriculture but also other things to do with weather. Okay, the purpose of this satellite that is going to be launched in Kenya, that is going to be launched by Kenya, though not in Kenya which is also going to be a topic of discussion, I think, in the next video. We're going to look at, is Africa, in actual sense, having satellites? Because none of these satellites, as we've spoken, about 50 of them that have been launched into space, for Africa, none of them has been launched on the African soil. So our next video is going to be specifically on that. Does Africa really, in actual sense, launch satellites? Or do they own satellites? It is going to be our next video. But today we focus, we are focusing on Kenya launching its operational, its first operational satellite into space, much as it is not going to be uh, launched on its own, on its own soil, as in not going to be launched in Kenya itself. But it is a Kenyan uh, satellite that has been engineered by its own people, rather in cooperation but also, you know, different parts of this satellite being met in other countries. Unlike Uganda, uh, this uh, satellite has been manufactured in cooperation with Kenyan engineers, but also Bulgarian uh, aerospace company that put together some of the components that make this satellite to ensure that it is operational. So you can see we still lack the capacity to do these things individually, maybe uh, to manufacture the parts by ourselves, maybe time to launch our the, our satellites in our own soil, so on our own soil, so it is still a milestone, it's still a long way to, do, to go with our science, but this is a right direction. When we are able to launch a number of satellites into space, maybe we're also getting onto the table of men as well, uh, like any other developed country. So I want to appreciate what Kenya has done, what a milestone that Kenya has been able to achieve, that a few of its neighbors like Uganda and uh, Rwanda have already achieved. Nevertheless, it is a Kenya satellite and it is pivotal for the development of Kenya, especially in its agricultural sector. So today we are going to read an article from the Al Jazeera on the, on the, about the launch of this very satellite into orbit. 
Kenya will launch its first operational satellite next week in a landmark achievement for the country's space program, the government said on Monday. Like I said, at the beginning of this very week on Monday, that's when news started, started circulating in um, Nairobi, in Kenya, that they were going to launch their very first operational satellite. Now, according to the Al Jazeera um, article, Taifa One, or One Nation, in Kiswahili is, this, is scheduled to be launched on 10th. You know, some articles are saying 10th, others are saying 11th, but I think it is going to be on 11th. On board the SpaceX Falcon rocket from the Vanderbilt Space Base in California. Now, we all understand that um, uh, SpaceX is a, uh, is a, a space, co uh, space corporation a company owned by the South African um, uh, businessman, a South African world tycoon, and that is none other than uh, uh, that is none other than uh, Elon Musk. You know, Elon Musk. So this SpaceX, aboard which the Kenyan satellite is going to be launched, is owned by uh, Elon Musk and. You know, we want to appreciate him for helping Africa also to be competitive in the world of science and technology. So, the Taifa One, as it is called, or One Nation, as it is called, is going to be launched in the premises of, space, uh, of SpaceX Falcon 9 aboard Falcon 9 rocket in Vandenberg in California. The mission is important, um, an important milestone. This is according to the Defense Minister of Kenya Space Agency said in a joint statement adding that it would contribute significantly to the country's budding space economy. The observation satellite is fully designed and developed by Kenyan engineers and will be used to provide data on agriculture and food security among other areas, the statement said. Testing and manufacturing of the parts were done in collaboration with a Bulgarian aerospace manufacturer, it added. Kenya, East Africa's economic powerhouse, is suffering its worst drought in decades after five years of failed rainy seasons. The satellite launch will add to a push by African nations for scientific innovation and the development of space programs. Egypt was the first country uh, in Africa to send a satellite into space in 1998. In as of 2022, at least 13 African countries had manufactured 48 satellites, according to the Space in Africa, a Nigerian-based firm that tracks African space programs. They include Ethiopia, Angola, South Africa, Sudan, Uganda, and others. So, like we said, more than 50 satellites have been launched in Africa, at least by 13 countries. It means that some countries have set a multiple number of satellites into space. So, time for one, a Kenyan, you know, operational satellite will be launching into space either on 10th or 11th of April this month, and its major purpose will be to monitor agricultural progress and maybe monitor a few other things like weather and um, natural disasters before they happen so that the country can prepare. Now, this, in all senses, looks like a progress on, the, on, on Africa um, to do with its economy as well and its development. If Africa as a continent has, you know, set approximately 50 satellites into space, which are going, which are in operations as of now, then it is a milestone for Africa as a continent, and it shows that Africa really has the potential to also you know, compete on the global space. So, we should be able to diversify beyond only sending uh, satellites into space, but uh, for agriculture and these other minimal elements of it, but then for also bigger operations, security and other things. things. I think it could only be maybe uh, South Africa and Egypt, which could be having satellites in space that are for security, but most of them, I want to believe, are for these small, small purposes. So it is high time, possibly, if 
a number of countries can come together to maybe work on a satellite or to that can or Africa as a continent, we can decide to send one um, one satellite into space. But this satellite should be able to do beyond what these uh, individual satellites are doing. Maybe man the security of the entire continent and countries individually. So uh, this rocket is going to be, you know, uh, launching a boat Falcon X. Like we said, that is uh, Falcon X, a company that was. You know, started in 2002 to do the aerospace, creating manufacturing rockets uh, and other space crafts by Elon Musk. And if he's really adding onto the African soil, then he is a true descendant of Africa. As we understand that this gentleman was born in South Africa. So that's what we had for you today on As a Matter of Fact. We wanted to show you that or to make you understand that Kenya is also joining the big boys alongside Uganda and Rwanda who already have their, 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 their satellites in space as it launches its very first operational satellite called Typhoon 1 or One Nation into space. Otherwise, for me to you today, it is adios. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button such that you can be reminded whenever we put a new video. Much love.